In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure external BGP or just eBGP. So I've got to note here, when BGP runs between routers that belong to two different ASs, this is called external BGP. And when BGP runs between routers in the same AS, this is called iBGP. So we're just going to I'm just going to show you how to configure eBGP in this video. So this is the topology that I'm going to use. Um, very simple topology. Um, basically R1 is in AS1, R2 is in AS2, and this is the transit network between the two routers. And R1 has a loop back of that IP address and our network or an IP address that belongs to that network network and R2 has a loopback address that belong belongs to that network this here. So let me go to R1. So that's the configuration of I mean that's the IP addressing on R1 and this is the IP addressing on R2. So they are both are using gig zero slash zero, and this is the loopback on R1, of course, and this is the loopback on R2. Okay, so let me start with the configuration. So it says here that this is how you enable you enable BGP on a router. So this is the command. So in this case, I'm using AS1 according to our topology. So I'm going to copy and paste that command. And this here, this is how you establish a TCP connection between R1 and R2. So, okay, I have not changed the, that yet. And AS neighbor, neighbor is 2, right? Same here. AS neighbor is 1. So this is how you establish a like uh, again. This is how you establish a TCP connection between the routers. Okay, and going to do the same on R2. <coughs> okay, incorrect IP address. You cannot configure the local system as neighbor. Yeah. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, so BGP has come up, and we can do this command. So we see that BGP has established, but we're not receiving any prefixes, prefixes yet. And you can also do this this particular command BGP neighbors Deuce. so you can use that command to see uh, more details <coughs> relating to related to the neighborship so we see that this is our neighbor um, this IP address and remote AES is one, so this is eBGP or external link. And version is four, remote router ID is one. I mean, one uh, remote router ID is the loopback address. And if I go to if I go to R1. Show IP BGP neighbors. We see that it is established, and remote router ID is this, the loopback address as well on R2. And yeah, so you can also do this command, which is 
actually just the summary of the neighborship. So we're not receiving any prefixes yet from both routers because um, we are not advertising any networks, any networks yet. So I'm going to actually configure a password on R1. And I'm going to do the same on R2. And let's see, check the status of BGP. Yeah, it's still active. I mean, it's still established. So now I'm going to advertise the network that loopback zero, I mean from loopback zero interface and of course you need to make sure that this network is in the routing table before you can advertise it. So it is in the routing table directly connected. This is R1 by the way so yeah and this here should be on the routing table in the routing table of R2 first before you can um, advertise it in BGP. Yeah, it is. It is in the routing table, and I'm going to advertise it in, into BGP. Yeah, see if the config. See if the config. So let's see if we are receiving routes from R2. So not yet. Let me see here. R2 is now receiving routes from R1. And you can actually check the BGP table by doing that command. Yeah, so we are receiving one route or one prefix and that would that would be this prefix or network from R1. So here this is just uh, prefix received. Um, it's not so it appears that it's not including the routes that uh, you locally originated or you locally advertised into BGP which is this one. Go to R1 as well. Yeah, and R1 is now receiving out as well from R2. And same, same scenario. This is just what we are receiving in this one here from R2. So BGP is working as expected. Let me check if we can find the We can find a, we can find information about the MD5 uh, configuration that we have configured on both routers. Looks like it's not there let me see I don't think you can see it from that MD5 yeah nothing MD5 yeah nothing yeah so I guess you uh, what what you can do to verify it, just you know, check the BGP configuration itself. So in this case, it is configured on R1, and it is also configured on R2. Yeah, same password, same passwords. Yep, that's it, and that's all. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you. It, it, uh, configuring ABGP is actually not so difficult. Um, it's just uh, actually just two commands. This here, 
this is how you again enable BGP and this here is how you establish a TCP connection between the routers uh, BGP speaking routers and this is this is actually optional and the password is optional it, you don't need it to establish a neighborship between the routers and this is and this here is of course how you establish I mean how you advertise networks in BGP and let me actually check this here yeah, so we see this BGP route in the uh, this route in the routing table and this is learned being learned via BGP and that should be the same on we should see this route as well yeah so this is from R1 and we are learning it via uh, BGP okay that's it in this video thanks for watching